last, I would say the last eight years, like I really feel like it's been doing it. When I say doing it, infiltrating through to the mainstream, like you have more Christian hip hop artists who get sync placements in movies, TV shows, ESPN, um, you know what I'm saying? Commercials and different things. You have uh, D1 did one, uh, had uh, one year had the uh, song. His uh, song was uh, for the Pelicans. He, he literally did yeah. the intro song for them to come in. So I'm saying, where, where do you think the balance is then with us being able to still navigate on that side? Because we know we still need to be able to navigate on that side, not only to win souls, but let's yeah. be very clear. It's, the, it's a business side of it, and it takes finances and monies and sponsors and advertisers to be in cahoots with everything we're doing too as well to get it out to the masses. So yeah. where's the balance at? Because I, I, I think I would have loved to uh, hear your your thoughts on if you were able to really build with Lil Wayne, when I say really build, like maybe, you know, it starts off slow. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he DMs you and maybe asks you for a word of prayer. Then maybe every now and then he just reaches out to you and you guys start to build some type of bond. Would yeah. you re would you reconsider maybe later on doing the track if Holy Spirit tell you to? And then also, like I say, uh, where's the balance between um, being able to navigate on the mainstream side, the business side of Christian hip hop and where we are now? For sure. Like, so if, if I actually was to build a relationship with Lil Wayne, and the reason why I'm using Lil Wayne too is because that man is a wordplay genius. Like, listen, <laughs> let, 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 no, no, let's be very clear. And, and I, I'm, 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 I'm full agreeing with you. I think Lil Wayne is the best feature artist ever. Like, oh, I, hands down. I, I've never seen anybody just, his work is, don't get it twisted. Wayne, if you're listening, absolutely, your catalog is amazing. We ain't, we ain't yeah. holding you on that. But his feature game, it's crazy <laughs> it's crazy so yes i agree <laughs> so if, if i if i was to build a relationship with with lil wayne man and um and the holy spirit told me to do a song with lil wayne i definitely would gotcha. i definitely would uh but i do feel like it's, if, uh, as far as this as far as christian hip-hop really just kind of going mainstream because like you said it is it is a business at Absolutely. the end of the day yes, and i think a lot of people they get that super confused like they get it twisted um i would put i would put it like this i say follow your own convictions mm -hmm. i feel like you you know when you kind of going too far you know what i'm saying i i, I literally Absolutely. have songs right now where i'm like okay like this is just a dope song and i and i really feel like at the end of the day i feel like God wants to bless you. I feel like God wants to expand territory, but I still feel like the name of Jesus still works. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that is what, that's what breaks jokes. We out here breaking chains. We trying to snatch, chain, snatch chains out here. We ain't trying to sugarcoat it. Uh, but I do understand, man, like right now, uh, for instance, we're trying to navigate this. So I'm on a, a tour called uh, Reach and Teach. And what Reach and Teach is, I get to go into high schools and rap in high schools. And they put on this big production. And what they do is they teach uh, the teens the behind the scenes in the music business. And so I'm the only Christian hip hop artist on this thing. And I, I actually do. I have to kind of pull back uh, on using Jesus so much in the high schools. Like I can't, I can't say it. But my yeah. thing is, I feel like this. I would say this. I feel like how you are living your life, how you're shining your light off the stage is what matters at the end of the day, man. So it, I feel like by me getting on stage and even by me not saying Jesus's name, I feel like they're still being introduced to him. But I would say this, I don't think I would ever go into a song anymore because I'm saying I've done it before saying I'm not going to intentionally use Jesus's name in this song because I would like for it to go mainstream. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if God give it to me, and it just so happened not to just have scripture and his name and stuff all up in it. And he decides to uh, put that song on Netflix and this and that. Then I feel like, okay, so be it. Like, thank you, Jesus. But at the end of the day, I feel like just following your own convictions and not, I hope I'm making sense. No, I'm making of sense. Not really just, yeah, not just kind of just intentionally um trying to just shy away from his name uh unless and, and i feel like in certain and, and then we can go on this topic all day unless it was a certain circumstance where you got asked to do like an intro or something like that in nature for a movie or for a tv show of course do what you got get your paper make your adjustments because at the end of the day god has given you the gift 
and somebody might hear this song and go back and listen to the rest of your catalog and life will never be the same. Facts, facts. And D1 still represented, like you could still, it was spade infused content on it, even though it was, uh, like I say, the uh, Pelicans uh, intro track. That listen, is my guy. He is, he is, he is insane. Oh, yeah. Uno is insane. Come on, man. Uno been doing it a long time, man, too, as well. He's yep. another vet in the game uh, that sometimes doesn't get his roses. But I, I listen, I, everybody who knows, knows D1 has put the work in, not only as an artist, but also in the community, too, as well. He's in That's the it. community. He's a mover and shaker. So, yeah, shouts out to you, Uno, you uh, for doing your thing. 